Happy Canada Day! Hi, I'm Kat, and today I am doing possibly the last video that I'm going to make until August. If you're new to my channel or you just don't understand what's going on, I live on one side of Canada and for the next month I'm going to live on the other side of Canada. So there won't be any videos or anything. I'm gonna be getting tons of packages in the mail that I will open when I get back. But those videos might not come until like the end of the first week of August. By the time this video is uploaded, which will be tomorrow, I will have one day before I jet across Canada. And a month from that day, I'll be jetting back home where I'll have Funko Pops waiting for me. Yes! And I'm a little bit sad because I've had a lot of fun making random videos this past like week or two so for my last video for at least a month I'm doing a review of the 20th anniversary edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Ravenclaw edition by the way if you couldn't tell I'm a Ravenclaw so I'll be going over what makes this unique but I'll also be comparing it to the other 20th anniversary edition Ravenclaw book that I have uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Starting off, the um, edges of the pages are the exact same uh, color scheme with the blue and bronze, which is kind of more so an orange, but they tried. But then you look at the covers, and whereas the Philosopher's Stone was blue and black for all the hardcover editions, the Chamber of Secrets is blue and bronze, which are Ravenclaw's colors. And for example, like Hufflepuff will have yellow and black, and Slytherin will have green and silver, and uh, Gryffindor has red and gold. So yeah, I think it's really cool that they included both of the colors in the cover. For the Philosopher's Stone, the hardcover was black and the paperback was blue. Whereas for the Chamber of Secrets, the hardcover is blue and the paperback is black. So that's an interesting little switch up there. Um, I don't know if they'll like keep changing the color of the covers. I don't really think they can once they get to like seven books like what else can they have other than like black blue bronze maybe I, I don't know how they're gonna do this or they might just alternate between black and blue black and blue black and blue that would be pretty cool too comparing the pictures on the front cover for the philosopher's stone there was the ravenclaw crust on the front but for the chamber of secrets it has like a bunch of things to do with the chamber of secrets you've got um, snakes intertwining for the chamber, you've got Moaning Myrtle, a bunch of Cornish pixies all over the place. Wow, this is actually really beautiful artwork. So on the spine of the book, there is a raven, slightly different artwork to the Philosopher's Stone. And on the back, oh, on the back of the Chamber of Secrets is the house crest that we saw on the front of Philosopher's Stone. You open it up, it says Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets 20th um, anniversary edition. Comparing the contents, it might have the same um, Ravenclaw and introduction as Philosopher's Stone, so we'll take a look at that. And then it has a map of Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, which the Philosopher's Stone also had. The Philosopher's Stone had Making Ravenclaws Proud, House Founder Rowena Ravenclaw, House Relic, House Livery, House Ghost. But I guess it doesn't really make sense to repeat all that information in this, so I mean, yeah, I'm fine with that. Instead of the sorting, Hogwarts quiz, house common room, memorable Ravenclaw students, famous Ravenclaw alumni, head of Ravenclaw house, the house cup, and JK Rowling 20 years of magic, the Chamber of Secrets has the house elves of Hogwarts, the alumni of Hogwarts, a quiz, and Ravenclaw house, symbols and inspiration. And both of them have the beautiful drawing of Rowena Ravenclaw. Oh, I actually think the introduction is different. So it does start off the same. Um, <clears throat> or yet in wise old Ravenclaw, if you've already mind, where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. As all proud Ravenclaws know, in Harry and his friends' second year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, the new defense against the dark arts teacher is the world-famous Ravenclaw Gilderoy Lockhart. 
five times winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smiler, Charm, which has served him well on many occasions, but he has not yet mastered the spell needed to tame a pack of mischievous Cornish pixies, which Hermione has mastered, by the way. When he lets loose a cage of the creatures in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, the result is a very hands-on first lesson for the second years. This memorable Ravenclaw moment reveals that lofty intellect isn't always matched by the same Hogwarts level ghost of morning Myrtle skill. embodies in another the face of particularly danger, Ravenclaw trait, unapologetic individuality. Her highly ritual choice of haunt is in the U-bend of the end toilet of the first floor girl's bathroom. She takes a somewhat swatty delight in others' mistakes, as when Hermione Granger inadvertently uses an incorrect ingredient to brew the polyjuice potion and half turns herself into a cat. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Though Myrtle does not realize its significance, her death in the girls' bathroom 50 years ago provides a vital clue to the mystery of the opening of the Chamber of Secrets and the beast controlled by Slytherin's heir. Quick-witted and literary Gilderoy Lockhart and inimitable, eccentric, moaning Myrtle, both Ravenclaws have their own distinctive part to play in the quest to uncover what lurks within the Chamber of Secrets. And then there that is the really nice introduction. Hogwarts. I assumed it was just going to be the same thing as in the Philosopher's Stone, but it wasn't. And it goes into the chapters. And at the end of the book is the picture we saw on the front cover, followed by the House Elves of Hogwarts. Now, I'm not going to read all of this. You can just pause and read if you want to. And the alumni of Hogwarts, a quiz, which you can pause and take this quiz if you would like, but I'm not going to read over it because I am too lazy. Followed by a beautiful drawing of the Ravenclaw common room. And then a little bit of info on Ravenclaw House symbols and inspiration. A little bit of a Q&A with the illustrator Levy Pinfold. Oh, and it labels all the different parts of the house crest that he drew. So it tells you um, what everything symbolizes. If you want to pause and expand your knowledge on symbolism here, you can go ahead and do that. And then, yeah, it uh, advertises Harry Potter book night. And if you take the dust jacket off, which I do like to do for five seconds before putting it back on, it is black and it just says Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Ravenclaw edition along the side there. But yeah, I guess if you're one of those people who likes to take their um, dust jackets off of their books, then all of your Ravenclaw edition books would look the same. So that's actually pretty cool. Except I keep the dust covers on because I think that they're pretty fun. So yeah. Even though they get dirty really easily and it's kind of annoying how visible little marks are on it. But oh well. Thank you so much for watching my review of the 20th anniversary I think it's so cool Harry that they're doing Potter these 20th Secrets um, anniversary Ravenclaw edition, edition books in each book. house. I, That's so inclusive. I love it. I love Harry Potter. I so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one in August. And I cannot wait to get the rest of the Ravenclaw books as they come out.